So you are known as a builder of outhouses, right? <laughs> or a bathroom uh, remodeler? Well, I, I'm the local outhouse builder, I guess you could say. Do you know of any more? No, sir. Not unless it would be uh, some of the Amish, you know, but I'd build one for some time or another. Well, now, this one out here you didn't build. No, sir. That, Let's walk on back That's back. Old, older than I am. There. That, no, that, that's an original from... Years ago, my old schoolhouse. And, uh, so that outhouse there could be a hundred years old. Yes, sir. Right. Now you yeah, tell well, me. Well, I, 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 I don't imagine it's that old, but I'd say it's 65, 75 years you old. You tell me your mama and I lived in this house till she was 98 years old. Yes, sir. She died a couple years ago. Yes. Sir. Yet she used this outhouse for most of her life. Well, while she and lived. You must lived not like... thought much of her if you never put her in a bathroom. Well. <clears throat> You know how it is. They, you, it's, you can't change older people. They get used to outhouses and corn cobs and seasonal book catalogs and stuff. They ain't well, give us a tour of this outhouse. <laughs> so you've uh, used this one several times yourself. Oh, yes, sir. I, it's uh, nice to have here. I, somebody come by and wanted to buy it here a while back, and I said, uh, I can't have it. I, my son-in-law told me that I can't have it. Said, so this one here is not for sale? No, sir. It's, it's for use. In fact, uh, right funny right here, she didn't have a moon in her outhouse door. Now, believe it or not, she was up in the 90s then, and this... I now, she just died there. a couple years ago. She was yeah. still using this yeah, in the yeah. mid-90s. Well, look, what is funny, I, this is where I had cut a moon out of one, yeah. say, and thought it for a kindling. She went and got her hammer and nails. I know she doesn't really say nothing about it, but I thought it was pretty cute. And she nailed this moon, cut out moon where she'd have a moon on her outhouse door. Open that dude up. Ain't no wasp in here, is it? Well, uh, they, 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 it's a one-holder, I know. Yeah, that. there's one here. He won't... Uh, this is a one holder. It was old. Uh, uh, okay, it's a, it's an occasional use. Sometimes it comes in mighty handy here, you know. Back then, do a lot of thinking, sitting in the outhouse and looking out the door, you know, and it's uh, solved a lot of world problems just sitting in the outhouse, you know. But your mom in law loved this outhouse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, she did. And uh, she had her roosters and chickens, and she could cook a fine pot of beans, too. But you still made her use an outhouse in her nineties. Well, I didn't make her. She could have gone out in the yard, but she <laughs> she, she preferred to use the outhouse. But I had to move it three different times. Like I say, I, each time I'd say, well, if her age is be the last time they can use home and move it. Well, six, eight years later, I'd have to dig another, and I'd say, well, if her age is the last, I'll have to move. And so, uh, I, that, well, that went on about three different times through the years. Well, how come you started building outhouses? I got out of work, and uh, <clears throat> of course I do better if I've got a couple of meals a day. And I was trying to think of something I could do to bring in uh, a little money and make some living. And I actually built a utility barn first. Sold it, but uh, so many people would build them, and I, I in no way I could build them any cheaper or any better they build so good how did you think about houses my son-in-law said well why don't you build an outhouse and i said hmm, i ain't no bad idea that, that might be the way to go so uh i built one and had no idea whether it'd sell or not and then sold it and built another and so forth and so on i was finishing up my 28th one up there through the years of course you is there a good market for outhouses not that good a market. Uh, it's just an occasional thing. You're not going to get a weekly paycheck, a monthly paycheck. They just somebody comes along and spots them and got to have them. Most people, uh, actually, to my surprise, have bought them for use. They either have like a little pond on the farm or a cabin on the back of the place or something like that or this guy having a bluegrass festival or something like that. I've sold a few, but only two or three that didn't have anything in there that somebody wanted just to be able to put their tools and yard tools and garden tools. Well, let's walk like over and take a look at that when you build. Right. Well, I'll be able to get y'all talking again over here before we leave. At the mic. Okay. So this is one of the new ones. Come on around here, show it to me. This is one you just built. Yes, yeah, sir. That's, uh, this is, uh, I guess you uh, You know, there's a lot of money in bathroom remodeling these days. <laughs> well, I, I've remodeled them, but here's the good thing about these. Sometimes when you're right at your business moment of watching something important on television or something, 
Your wife will come running with a bathroom plunger to smoke stop up. You don't have to worry about that with one of these things. It ain't no stop up. There ain't no flushing problems with it. Now you say a lot of people have their picture taken with this chair you yes, got sir, in here. Tourists. This uh I even have a nice lid here on them and a hinge mm -hmm. top there. And, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and it got a and you even got a urinal in this one. Yes, sir. That's uh, the latest thing. And uh no we, modern conveniences, I noticed. No electricity, no TV. Well, I thought about it. I do uh, do this right here, if you will. Uh, I number each one of them. When somebody okay. gets one, it's numbered. So, uh, Gerald Young address and June when it is. So it's uh, one of my outhouses. So it's a piece of art. It's a piece it's, of art. It's a piece of art, and it's like Bill Monroe's signature on. So when I'm dead and gone, everybody's but got stay a number out there. I'm going to shut you up and get you coming out. Oh, well, right. this is a piece of art by Gerald Young. Uh, yes. Is it, you don't have air in them either, I noticed. Uh, they're, uh, they're kind of windy. Well, you can put electricity in them. Yes, sir. Uh, we uh, we try we we rather you use uh, electric lights or something. People have come in with a lantern, you know, a cold old lantern or something. But sometimes they'll uh, cause an explosion and blow up <laughs> <laughs> natural gas and everything. But anyway, uh, this uh, talking about this right here. I, I I number each one of them like I say. So you're an artist. Well, I I don't know about that. I painted a few barns and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I've seen worse stuff than that wrote on the outhouse also. I mean, that, that's uh, but uh, this is solid oak, and uh, of course, they're fixed where you can uh, latch them uh, with a hook here. And then this outside latch, uh, I used to put a handle on them, I got them finding out.